On this installment of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be taking a look at the complete product lineup of the HO Scale Diecast Masters cat models. So I'm filming this in 2020, July to be specific, and there are 14 models in the collections thus far. So we'll go ahead and start in no particular order with the 627G Scraper. Let me go ahead and get this in the frame here. There we go. So the 627 is a twin engine scraper. I know a lot of you guys know that, but there are a lot of new people that are going to be watching this video, so bear with me through this. Twin engine means there are two engines, one in the rear, and as you may expect, one up in the front. Most all of these models, by the way, will come with a 187 scale or HO scale figure in the cab for added detail. The original thought process uh, by Caterpillar and Diecast Masters for this was it was to give a better indication of scale and size of the machinery to a full-size man. So that is one reason that that decision was made. The scraper itself has detailed engine components inside. It articulates, which is how the machine would steer. The bowl has some functionality as well. You can have it in the carry position or in the cut position, like that, and also the apron raises as well to eject material. Looking at the other side, a lot of the same detail as well with rubber tires, and the wheels have some bolt detail on them, which again, add a lot of immersion and realism factor to it. Transitioning to the bulldozer, because you could have a bulldozer pushing one of these, as you would often see in the real world. It's the Cat D9T. This particular version is outfitted with what they call the anti-glare option, which is the flat black paint up on top of the traditional cat colors. A rubber-tired machine. The blade functions as well, raises and lowers, and tilts forward and back. This device at the rear is called a ripper and it does raise and lower as well so you can have some good functionality of the machine ripping the next three models we'll take a look at are known as wheel loaders the first one is the 966 m this machine steers across the pivot point similar to what the scraper does and has a working loader arm and a tilting bucket now, the next machine is very similar to the 966, but it's a 972, so it is a little bit bigger. As you can see here, it has a different, much larger counterweight than the 966 does. And if we look head-on at the machine, you can see that it also has a much larger capacity bucket than the smaller 966 does. That being said, it functions just like the 966 with a slightly higher uh, height for the arms to raise, and the bucket tilts forward and back just like the 966 does. The last of the wheel loaders is not a bucket loader, but it is a 972M milliard arrangement, which has this doohickey, as they like to say, on front, which is a log grapple. And this is perfect if you have a mill yard or a logging operation on your train layout because you can have this loading train cars or trucks or in a mill yard or whatever you want to do. This is a fantastic model that adds a lot of realism and immersion. Next model we'll take a look at is the Cat 12 M3 Grader has a blade that moves left and right and also spins on the circle right here. Like the dozer, it also has a ripper at the rear, which does lower. And you can angle the blade down, up, or side to side with the help of these cylinders right here. This machine is called a backhoe loader. Specifically, it's the 450E. And this machine is designed to do the work of two or three different machines, such as an excavator at the rear, or a backhoe, and a wheel loader at the front. It has good functionality with stabilizers that come down, and as its name would imply, they are designed to stabilize the machine while it's digging with the backhoe. Here you can see it has good functionality there. And these would come up when you use the front loader part 
to load trucks, for example. So pretty good bang for your buck with this machine. The next two we'll take a look at were models of CAT's vocational on-highway program, and they are the CT681 trucks. This version, as you can probably tell, is a cement mixer or concrete mixer. The cement drum does spin, and if we look at the rear, the chute right here comes with one extension that does fold down, or you could completely remove it if you want to. This extension in red is just a painted add-on detail. It is not designed to go on the chute. The actual truck is very highly detailed with realistic looking wheels and a great looking cab. Similar to the cement mixer is the CT681 dump truck. Obviously the main difference here is that this body is a dump truck and the function Functionality is that of a dump truck, and it functions quite well. The tailgate does open at the back, so if you're having some road construction or perhaps some stockpiling going on or really any application uh, on your train layout that you would need a dump truck for, this is a perfect fit for that. This piece right here for the tarp, this is just meant for aesthetic looks. However, if... You have seen some of the incredible work by some of the HO scale modeling community on the internet. There are some modelers that have taken this particular model and made the tarp actually be functional so that you can cover the bed of the truck. So you're only limited by your imagination, and this is a fantastic base model to do custom repaints. For example, it's very easy to disassemble to do repaints. It's only held together by a few screws, so you can paint this truck in some company colors if you wish to do that kind of thing. Moving right along, this truck is an articulated dump truck, the 730. It's called an articulated dump truck because it articulates across the steering joint. And it's a dump truck because, well, it dumps just like that. The model is respectively heavy, especially in HO scale, so there's a lot of die cast metal in this version. And these cylinders right here will hold the pose no matter what angle you set the dump body at. The tires are also rubber with a realistic looking tread pattern and the chassis also has some nice detail in it as well. Our last dump truck that we'll take a look at, this is an off-highway truck, the 772. These are usually used in mining and quarry operations or where there's lots of material that needs to be moved, uh, but these trucks obviously as you may expect are not street legal so you wouldn't see these on the street. Tons of detail underneath here, and if you look at the tread pattern, it's very, very detailed and very realistic, which personally I always appreciate little details like that. Looking from the front, you have mirrors, hand and grab rails, the operator figure inside. But the biggest selling point for this is this three-stage cylinder here, which allows for a fantastic and realistic dump angle. The next model is one of the most popular sellers of these HO scale collection, and that is the CAT 320DL Hydraulic Excavator. This, it, 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 Honestly, in all aspects, this is a fantastic model. The rubber tracks roll well, as long as some downward roll well, rather, and it, as long as some downward pressure is applied on them. It spins 360 degrees, and the arm, or excuse me, the the the, yeah, the arm stick and boom, everything works fine on it. The bucket works well. So any angle that you want to replicate, whether it's on a flat car, for example, like this, or on a low boy, you can achieve. Or if you want to pose it digging, perhaps for a foundation for a building or a house, you can do that. Or if you want to pose it loading into, let's say, a dump truck, you can achieve that as well. That's one of the reasons why the 320 or those are many reasons why, rather, the 320 is very, very popular. Sticking with excavators, this is the M318D wheeled excavator. These machines are usually pretty popular in Europe, uh, and you still see some here in the States. The difference, obviously, is that this is rubber-tired, so you can take something like this on asphalt streets without worrying about them destroying the street. 
So you can have this doing some road maintenance, for example. The bucket on this is a smooth grating bucket that tilts from side to side. On the front, it has stabilizers that raise and lower, while on the rear, it has a small dozing blade, which acts as a stabilizer at the rear as well. The, a lot of the same functionality that the 320 has, this machine has, it's just a slightly smaller machine in terms of size class. But if you're looking for an excavator to do some standard maintenance on a streeter, for example, this is an easy pick. Finally, the last model we'll take a look at is definitely the most commercially successful thus far, and that is the Caterpillar M323F Railroad Wheeled Excavator. Certainly a little bit of a tongue twister, but this machine is unique in the fact that it performs maintenance of railroads, and these wheels on the front actually fit on 187 scale railroad track. So, as you may expect, you can pose this doing maintenance of way on your railroads and things like that. But that's not all. It actually comes with not only this ballast tamper attachment, it also comes with just a regular smooth bucket right here and this nifty little clamshell bucket as well. A fantastic model with three attachments. You can put this on your rails and it will fit. And there's another version of this coming out. This version, the first one, is what's called, is painted in what's known as safety yellow. So it's actually a little bit different shade of yellow. You can see this is cat yellow, this is safety yellow. But this was so popular that the community wanted this version painted in cat yellow. So this version will also be made in cat yellow, hopefully later on this year. So there you have it, collectors. That is the entire lineup to date of Diecast Masters HO Scale Caterpillar products. All of these models are fantastic. They certainly pack a punch. They are reasonably priced, and they all are part of the Highline series. So they all come in these collectible metal tins, which have very high-quality prints and photographs on them, as well as information about the real machine on the back. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video.